Hey guys, good morning, good morning. Today I am in Orlando, a change of scenery. I'm working with a really cool company and we're doing the makeup pop-up show. So right now, I'm just on my way trying to find where I'm supposed to be going. We got here early, my call paper said eight. The girl I'm working with says nine. So I don't know, I'd rather be here now than um, anything. So I'm just gonna look for where I'm going. And then I'll check back in. This hotel is so nice. It's the Hyatt Regency in Orlando. It has a convention center connected. That says Columbia. Okay, we'll be back. Hey guys, day two. I came to the makeup show. I don't even know which way to face because the sun is right like directly in my eyes. I was wearing um, oh. Echo on my lips from Kat Von D. If you can see Kat Von D. And I was wearing the Alchemist Palette Blue Sapphire highlight over it. It looks really cool. I just bit my lips off because we're about to go eat anyway. So I was like, whatever. So today's been a really good day, successful. We had a lot of fun. I spoke to a lot of people. It's a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun doing stuff like this. So me and my friend Luana are doing a great job. I have some swatches. If you guys haven't seen the new um, collection of liquid lipsticks, oh my God, you have to. They're literally amazing. The colors are so beautiful. But we're trying to figure out where we're going to eat. Like I said, today's day two. Tomorrow's day three, right? Well, today today is day two in Orlando, but first day of the convention, tomorrow's day three, and we leave tomorrow night. So we're going to shower, all that tonight, pack our bags, and what we wear here is what we're going to be wearing to the airport. So what I have on is pretty comfortable, but I'll get you guys in a little bit. I think I want some Thai food, so we'll be on our way. Hey, guys. Long time no talk. <sighs> I went on a business trip. Um, as you guys know, I do work full time uh, doing visual merchandising, but then I also do my styling on the side and work with different brands, which is pretty cool. And this time I got to work with uh, no one other than the Kat Von D team, the Artist Collective team, which was such a blessing. They are truly some amazing women and they're so humble and they're so sweet they're so sweet like I can't even I can't even express how nice these women are like I, I was gonna say girls but they're they're truly women um I always have this weird feeling that because I'm we're looked at as outsiders um that people will be rude and like think you don't know anything but these women truly respected us and like wanted to work with us oh gosh and um made sure that we were okay and that we felt comfortable and all these things so that was really cool we were in Orlando Florida I got to work with the at the makeup show in Orlando Florida and this is the first time that get, that Kat Von D and her team were there and it was just so amazing the customers were great everybody was great I just I really honestly truly enjoyed myself I had so much fun with my friend Luana um, and it, I don't know it was just such an, an amazing time and I didn't get in I didn't get into bed until like 2 30 I think I got home around 2 o'clock in the morning and I had to be at my regular job at 8 30 and you know when you come come from a business trip that you had such an amazing time on when you have to go back to something that you're like ugh, like you know not the most happy to go back to yes I am blessed to have a job but I'm like ah, I'm over it I just want to do this I want to see how I could parlay this into something um Full time, if they have it, I would love to do it. Trade shows, talking to people, getting able to work in a, in a field that I absolutely love. I love beauty and I love fashion, but I love fashion in different capacity, like dressing people and designing and allocating and all that stuff. That's what I love to do. But on a retail level, I literally hate it. Like, I literally hate it hate it but um yeah so I had work at 8 30 so I was literally running off of maybe maybe five hours sleep at that point well I got up I get up it's maybe four four hours of sleep and then today was another full day oh they have their dog with them uh today was another full day and I was just so tired I threw a hat on I never wear hats the back I got this hat from forever 21 it was nine dollars and the back of it like where your ponytail goes through right above it it says whatever which that's kind of how I feel today <laughs> so but I have to keep telling myself be positive be present in the moment yes you may be tired aren't we all 
but just stay positive and hopefully positive things will come back into my life, right? We were talking about affirmations a long time ago and I still believe in affirmations. So that's what I've been just telling myself. My, uh, my friend Luann is so supportive and she's like, she's probably one of the first people I've ever met in my life that's not like, no, 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 I'm not gonna give you my inside scoop. I'm gonna let you know so we can all get on. Like, there's enough room for everybody, and I love her for that. And I told her that this week, and I was like, yo, you're you're probably one of the dopest chicks I've met. And I've met a lot of people. So, and she's so funny. I call her Courtney because she reminds me of Courtney Kardashian. <laughs> so, right now I'm on my way. I was gonna go to the grocery store, but I'm kinda not feeling it right now. I just, David said he found enough stuff to make food for dinner. So we'll probably just have that. I really just want to shower and lay in my bed. I've, I've been go, go, go for the past, I don't even know how long. My I've been go, go, go so bad that my feet are swollen and my hands are swollen. I can only wear my engagement ring. I don't even know if you could tell. When I put my wedding bands on, oh my God, it's so uncomfortable. It's so tight. Um, so I'm on my way home now. I need to start my gym routine again. Um, going there, we had really long work days. We had 12, 12 to 14 hour work days, which to me that doesn't bother me. When I'm doing what I love, it doesn't bother me. I, I went I went two, two shifts without having a break, which when does that ever happen, you know? It happens a lot, but I didn't care. I had so much fun and um, I think I might be going to New York in a couple weeks with them again as well, but I'm not exactly sure because they didn't they didn't let us know and I told them they have to let me know way ahead of time so I can block out those dates, which if I can, that'd be really cool. It's a bigger venue and all these things. So that's so that's that's the that's the that's what I did in a nutshell this past week. I don't think there was a vlog up. Today's Tuesday day right so yeah I didn't I wasn't able to put a vlog up on Sunday because I was out of town and I don't even know if I have enough footage uh, for that so yeah so that was that in a nutshell hopefully all is well with you guys um, I'm thinking about putting some relationship things on this vlog channel relationship question and answer or just my thoughts on things if you guys want to see that t let me know down below and you can give me a thumbs up just so I know because sometimes I forget what the heck I ask and I feel like I need to give you another movie of the week um this is a newbie movie I just want to bring it up because I watched it on the plane and I think it's such a good movie and it has such a good storyline to it uh if you guys haven't seen Southpaw I don't know what you're waiting on I guess okay Southpaw how do you say it without an accent Southpaw paw I don't know how you say it Southpaw that you know, South Pole, when you're talking about a boxer, it just means they're a lefty, they're South Pole. So, such a good movie. Jake Gyllenhaal is in it, and Rachel McAdams. She's one of my favorite um, actresses. I just, anything she does, I love. Notebook, I just love it. Such a good movie, though. Good storyline. Love Jake Gyllenhaal. Makes you feel way differently about him. I spoke about this a while ago, but that vlog is on my. We watched it, I believe, during Vlogmas. It's on my beauty channel, so such a good movie. Why, why, why? Um, yeah, so I'm on my way home right now. It is raining. People don't know what to do in the rain. And I still have yet to find another car mount. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Oh. Oh. I'm in the carpool lane that doesn't have to stop, but it's only me in the car. It's okay. It's just getting on the highway. So yeah, I'm going to head home. I have so much laundry to do because I still never unpacked from vacation. Who am I? And I didn't get a chance to unpack from this trip with Kat Von D. So I think I'm just gonna unpack my stuff, at least put in the, the laundry so I can make sure it gets done. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do from there. I need to wash my makeup brushes because they are grotesque. I'm gonna wash my face and do maybe a face mask. Um, but yeah, rainy day, so I'm gonna pay attention to this road. I wanna listen to some music, zone out. Probably gonna take this hat off. But hopefully all is well with you guys and I'll check you in the next clip. Hey guys, long time no see. 
Uh, it is currently 12 o'clock. I just looked, ooh, let me turn back. 12 o'clock and we're doing our like monthly, monthly compra. So I have my coupons for Bed Bath & Beyond. I have to get more hair stuff and you know there, um, I just looked on the website last night and they are, they're having, you'll get a $10 uh, like store coupon when you buy $30 worth of, I think it said Shea Moisture, so you know, any bottle of Shea Moisture is about $10 anyway. And then I have 20% off coupon, so that's gonna help me save there. So that's what we're doing. Thank you. And um, I think we're gonna go to Soup Plantation, and then I also have to go to Ikea because my coffee press broke. So um, we're gonna pick one of those up, and I just have, huh? Oh, my tablet started. <laughs> I have all my Ulta and my uh, Red Book that I'm gonna look through. And tomorrow is my Ipsy day, so I'm gonna be really tired. I go to Ipsy and then I have work after that. So it's all right, what can you do? I am used to powering through and trying not to complain. If you guys like my sunnies, they are from Forever 21. I paid. $9.90 for them. They're like reminiscent of the Dior sunglasses. I'm not gonna buy the Dior sunglasses. I go through sunglasses way too quickly. So, and I think those were like $5.50 opposed to $10. So, we're gonna hop in the car. Oh, we might have a couple more pit stops after that or before that, but I should have brought some water. But all right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. We made it to the Ikes and we found this really cool Papasan. Really dope. It's a rocking Papasan. It's $2.99, which uh, I think that's a little expensive because I think the normal ones are like a hunt. Well, it also rocks though. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the normal Papasans, they don't rock. I remember we so bought one. I remember when I lived in um, Tampa, we bought two, and we got it from, I think, Pier 1. Me, and me, Shane, and my mom went to Pier 1. I think Dre, too, and, but I want to say those were like 150 I can't even remember. Maybe even cheaper, because we bought two, but I love Ikea. We actually, when we first moved here, we bought this couch. This couch here, we bought it in gray, but it was too short. David's too long, like he would lay on the chaise lounge part and it was too long. Yeah, this is the one we bought, so we had to return it. Um, let me move back so you guys can see it. It really is a cute couch, but it's just too short. It was, it was actually too small for where we lived, too. So, it's funny because moving here, we had house size furniture and now we live in an apartment. And our, our stuff is like oversized, so, so they say. But this is cool. Oh, it's called a rocking chair. So we're gonna keep going. I wouldn't mind having this though. It looks pretty comfortable. So we'll keep going. We came here for our coffee press. So we decided to come to Soup Plantation. This is the vegan minestrone soup. Um, and then they have vegan butter too, which I didn't grab bread. David has the, their vegan bread here. And then this is my salad, so I have everything. Um, beets, olive, chickpea, pea, corn, carrot, kidney beans, uh, I have edamame here too, it's underneath. I put rice wine vinegar and oil on top. These pickles are actually really good. I'm not the biggest pickle fan, but I have those. And then their French dressing is vegan. I think to, ew, you put raisins. Sure. <laughs> David put raisins on top of his. I think the only thing he doesn't have on his is the beets. You didn't get beets, right, babe? No. Beets, and I think he put <laughs> onion on his. I didn't put onion on mine. Oh, I have cabbage on here as well. And then he has the same dressing. And then this is their vegan bread. It's made with coconut milk. Um, so we're gonna enjoy. Right? Oh, my baby. And then we're probably gonna stop by Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath and & Beyond. And they have a Barnes & Nobles here. I haven't seen a Barnes & Noble in probably a year. Right? So, uh, yeah. so no, we've we'll... seen it when we were at Masi. And, uh... Oh, the Grove, the Grove, yeah, the Grove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should go. I don't know. Okay, depending on time, we gotta eat. 
Okay, so I made it to Bed Bath & Beyond. And look, Burt's Bees has a, a protein uh, smoothie. It's plant-based. They have vanilla and chocolate. It's going for $29.99. And I believe you can use your coupon on this as well. Um, it's made with, I think it's like soy, no, no. It's made with pea protein. There you go. I can move it on up. Brown rice protein. Oh, it's not vegan though. Okay, so if you guys anyway need a dairy-free or soy-free um, option, Burt's Bees. And if you try it, let me know. This one's not vegan. Uh, yeah, if I can find an option without honey, I would. But then they also sell these here. So quinoa, if you need quinoa, chia seeds, flaxseed, chia blend. You can use this as an egg replacer. Um, these two, chia seeds as well. But pretty cool. Okay, I found another vegan option for you guys. I don't know if I've told you about this, but Rainbow Light is a brand that does vegan. If any of you guys are pregnant, looking to get pregnant, if you need vitamins, this is a good brand. Um, I'm not sure if they sell the regular multivitamin here, but I bought the multivitamin offline. I think I got it from iHerb, but this is a good thing to know too, and you can use your coupon on it as well. Okay, so I found the regular one. So this is what you guys need. They have active adult 50 plus, men's active health team. I wanna say there's another one. I have one for um, women that I bought. Yeah, but you can use your coupon on this as well. Okay, I just found a gem of a find. So I'm, I was reaching for this. It's $11.99 for one, okay? They're doing a deal right now where you're getting buy one, get one free, so it's two in one, and they're $11.99. I mean, hello, and I have my coupon, and you get the $10 with $30 purchase of Shane Leishner, so your girl's already halfway. I wanna find something else that has that bundle deal. I was also wanting to get this, because that smells really good. Blow out, oh, it looks to blow my hair, no, okay. So, today is Friday. I just finished with my Ipsy um, shoot. We came out to Santa Monica and we were able to use the uh, stage space, the equipment that they have there. Their stuff is dope. Like, I feel like I need everything now. So David was taking pictures and taking note of everything. So maybe we can add it <laughs> to our house and our collection. Cause yes, it, it is such a blessing to be able to come out here and do this, but it really would be cool to do it in our own home, you know? So. Um, so yeah, I have work later today, and we'll see. I'm kind of hungry though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Food time. Yeah. And what did we do yesterday? What was yesterday? Yesterday I had a day off. Um, mind you, if you guys ever come here, well, my GPS in my car didn't give me. It wouldn't give me the direct thing. So it put me right across the street it's okay I got him put me across the street so I was I kind of got lost coming here or lost once we got here because we couldn't find where the studio space was so right now we're just walking to the car um, yesterday I had my day off like I said and that was like my first full 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 day off that I wasn't doing any gigs or anything um, which felt really nice so we'll probably I don't know head back home I'm not sure I have work in a couple hours so We'll see. Is my eyelash still on? I don't know. I like this lip color, but I feel like I need a, a lip liner. But anyway, hopefully all is well with you guys, and I'll check you in the next clip.